these are the lights I got to put on the front of my boat. These are 12 inch Nylight, N-I-L-I-G-H-T. They are 72 watts and 4,900 lumens. It's the, the highest lumen lights I could find that could hook up to a 12 volt battery, uh, at least on Amazon and eBay. And I'm, there's some specialty places you can get like that just sell like stuff for bow fishing. But man, them guys are really trying to make some money, it seems like. I don't know, maybe them lights are really, really awesome. You know, with bow fishing lights, you can do like 120 volt, like just like a regular house light, but you're gonna have to get like a, an adapter to, to make it to where you can wire it up right. I'm not exactly sure how much those are, but I decided to go against it. I'm hoping these, since they're LEDs and 72 watts, I'm hoping, I got 10 of them. I'm hoping that it won't draw a whole lot of current. Uh, it, worst case scenario is I'll have to get a small generator to run on the boat to, to help the lights out. But I don't fish at night that much. Usually most of my bow fishing is during the day. You may or may not know I work third shift seven days a week. So I'm always at work at night anyways. So it'll be a small chance that me personally will ever need these that much you know I, I would like to do a couple bow fishing tournaments this year in this boat if i can if i don't sell it before then but uh anyhow these are the lights i bought and my next step is to go ahead and try to figure out how in the world i'm going to mount these things on my boat i got some three quarter by three quarter i think it's 60 61 yeah it's 60 61 tubing and I'm going to try to build some kind of bracket on the front of the boat to hold these lights. So it's going to take some figuring out. I might have to do one side and then maybe film the other side once I halfway figure out uh, what I'm doing. All right, so building this bracket was a little bit tougher than I thought it was going to be. I'm not 100% happy with it. I think I'm gonna have to redo some stuff. What I ended up doing is to secure it to the boat itself, I got some riv nuts. And I got a riv nut there, there, one right in the middle, and one on the very end. And what a riv nut is, they're, they're kinda cool, they look like rivets. And you got to use a special rivet tool to put them on. You see how it's threaded? Basically, these nuts right here are threaded on the inside. Then you thread it on your tool. Then you drill your hole out, and then you do it just like you would a regular rivet. You squeeze it together. What it does is it causes it to buckle, and it'll hold it in place. And then once you get it secure you unscrew this which basically unscrews it from the rib nut that's what i use to secure it to the boat and it's it's pretty stout it's really stout to be honest but the thing that i'm not 100 percent happy about is how i tied everything together I, I got these aluminum l brackets from amazon and i put them in all the corners like there's one right here and then on each leg, I have one on each side. And I used number six screws. And I just don't, I'm scared they're gonna end up backing out over time. That's what I'm really worried about. I mean, they got a little bit of play to them because with stainless steel or this thin aluminum, if you tighten it down too much, it'll just strip out. So, I mean, I got everything like hand tight, but like I said, I'm scared that you go on some trips or something, it's gonna end up backing out. But regardless, uh, this is this is what it looks like at least on this side and that's how I did it Basically, I started right here up front and measured it out You know the width of the lights and then I worked my way down. I pretty much found out how much space I needed between each light And did it all the way down cut it off and that's what I ended up with Like I said, I don't think it looks bad. It's really low profile and I really like that and like I said, to take it off, you know, for each side, if I match the other side, you're only gonna have eight bolts to take out. So it'll be really easy to take on and off. 
like I said, my only real concern with it is the durability of it. Mainly like towing your boat somewhere. Cause say I'm gonna go bow fishing one night. So I go ahead and throw these lights on and secure it. And then I might drive an hour on some bumpy roads and I don't want one of these brackets to fall off or get all jacked up and I get there and my stuff's all messed up. So I might see if Jacob can put me some tack welds on some of the corners just to make sure everything's gonna be okay before I paint it. Like none of these lights are on. They're just got a screw on each side. Each one of these brackets has four bolts that go in it and I only have one bolt on each bracket. Just kind of get an idea of what it's gonna look like. But that being said, I think it looks good. I, I really, I'm pleased with the way it turned out. I wanted something really, really low profile and easy to take on and off and that's what I got. So this side is done, at least for mocking up. Like I can go ahead and take all these lights out and start painting this thing if I'm not gonna get Jacob to tack weld it. I'm gonna have to ask him. Uh, that's not the thickest aluminum in the world, so we're gonna have to see about that. Uh, one thing I did not account for is this trolling motor. It sticks out on this side more than this side. I didn't even think about it when I was doing this side. I thought about it last night when I backed up and looked at my boat before I went to work. I was like, oh crap. But I think I'm gonna be able to make it work. I mean, I got clearance. I just might have to do something a little creative with it. Uh, the front isn't gonna match. It's gonna be a little bit different. Like I'm not gonna be able to come down right in front of it. I might have to stop it a little bit and then come back for the bracket and come back behind the light itself. I don't know, it's, it's gonna be some, some scratching of my head and try and figure it out. But I need to do it. That way if I do decide to get Jacob to put some welds on this, I can take both of them and get him to knock both of them out real quick at the same time. So that's where I'm at right now. I need to knock this side out. <laughs> I'm not gonna film it like I thought I was going to because it's uh, probably gonna be tough. And I just seen something else that I haven't even thought about, is this hatch. I have a rib nut right there and directly across from the boat is this hatch. So I'm probably gonna have to get creative with that too and figure something out. Like I might not be able to put a rib nut on that one. I might have to put one right here instead of right in the middle on this one. But, like I said, we'll have to figure it out. Lots of work, trial and error. That's what boat building's all about, at least with what I've messed with so far. All right, so I got this side uh, done. What I had to do is up front, I had to two piece it. Instead of connecting them together, I had to make this little standalone piece. And I mean, I don't think it looks terrible. Look at it from up front, obviously it doesn't match. I don't have that light in, I went ahead and took all those off. Because I went in and brazed these joints. I forgot I had them brazing rods, so I think it's okay now, it's really stout. I went ahead and brazed each T and at the corners. And I think everything's gonna be all right. I did the same thing on this side. Some of them I brazed on this side because that's just how I had to lay it down flat on the ground. That's what it ended up with. And now I need to take all these lights off, unbolt it, and then put a couple coats of paint on it. Then I can put it all back together, put the lights back on, and then wire all the lights together, and that'll be it. I mean, like, it, it. <laughs> be done with the boat.
think I have it all wired up. It is very rat nesty right now because I haven't cleaned it up yet. I haven't turned it on. So I'm not even sure if I got it right. But basically what I did is I kind of pigtailed these together. As you can see, I actually forgot to put shrink wrap on this one so you can kind of see how I did it. I just, where I would connect two lines, I added another positive and a negative tied into it so I could connect to the next one. And I made it, I know it, it looks like crap right now, but all this will tie together. I got enough slack to where I can tie it up, zip ties to this or wire loom it to where it's all clean looking. But anyhow, I got these plugs right here, these connectors, and I tied these and I tied the end of this one to that. And I got one long connector to loop around my trolling motor to the other side. Shout out to my neighbor who thinks it's cool to cut your grass every freaking day. All right, so the other end comes to here, connects to this one, and then all these are the same way. Pigtail together all the way to the very end and I have one connector. Now, I didn't show this, but I got this plug-in right here, and it is for one of these connectors. So, like I said, I haven't tried these lights out yet, so I should be able to plug them in and turn the lights on, and hopefully they come on. So unfortunately, I ran into a problem. I tried running all these lights all together off the same battery. And when I plugged it all in, these five worked, these five did not. Now, I pulled a lot of readings and right here where I was trying to connect it to, I was getting like 11 point something volts but for whatever reason i guess it was just it's just too much to turn the lights on so what i end up having to do is redo all this crap retie them all together and this side is going to have to be run off its own battery which sucks but i mean like i said i i'm not going to be affected by it really because i hardly ever fish at night so the few times that I do have to hook it up, it's not gonna be that big of a deal for me. Now, if someone buys this boat and they bow fish all the time, yeah, it could kind of be a little bit of a damper, but like I said, it's not that big of a deal. All the lights are working now. It's kind of hard to tell how bright they actually are because it's daytime, but we'll have to put them out at night, see what it looks like. Now I need to clean up all this wiring so it doesn't look so bad. There we have it. I think it turned out alright. Still haven't had it in the complete dark yet. It's, it was pretty dark when I did this video, but it wasn't nighttime yet. But they seem to be really bright. And really the only downfall is having to run two batteries. And I think there's room in that battery hatch to put a small size battery, like the one I got hooked up to the left side. Uh, sideways and then you could wire it to that other battery and then have 24 volts and then that'd be plenty juice to run all the lights together but I'll let somebody else deal with that and the way it's set up right now is totally fine for what I'll need it for it's winding down the next video will be I guess like an unveiling of the boat go over the whole thing I appreciate you guys see you on the next one